All right, my friends, Captain Jason Martin here. Now, I'm making a video today talking about the VA gave me my 100% disability. Finally, all service connected, PTSD, all the way up to arthritis. I have uh, two slip discs, a bulging disc, a cyst in my back. I have uh, a broken tailbone. I have a lot of issues, but the PTSD was the main issue. And I'm just glad they finally gave me the 100% because it gives me the money to pay for my house, to pay for my child support. You know, it was hard living month to month even not even knowing if I would have the food to eat day by day. I still don't have a car, which I'm going to have to get again since the city took mine and gave it to a tow agency and then the tow agency gave it back to the bank and the bank sold it at auction. All this stuff that I've been dealing with that finally is over with and I don't have to worry about it anymore it's a big weight off my shoulders just don't even know I'm happy but you also gotta think why why are they giving me the hundred percent disability is it because they want to put me in the mental hospital because the mental hospital doesn't get paid for me staying there unless I'm 100% dis disabled. So now I just have to worry that they want to stick me in the mental hospital, which, you know, been there, done that. I don't know. It's always something with these guys. They don't give you something for nothing. So it goes from the 80% that I'm at now, $1,700 to a month, to 100% is $3,200 a month. So, I mean, that's just $1,500 that I could really use a month. And I didn't lie to the people when I saw them. They, I, I told them straight out, the only reason that I'm putting in for the disability is because I need the money. I ain't going to lie. I don't never wanted to get a hundred percent. I never wanted to, you know, worry that I didn't, uh, give myself enough room to work. If I wanted to work to give myself the option, but it's just, I'm never probably going to work again. And with my bipolar disorder, which, you know, sometimes I get angry and I get angry easily. It was hard to find a job with that anyway. I should have been 100% all the way back from 2010. But they didn't give it to me. They gave me 90% and then they lowered me to 80% when they saw that my back was doing better from working and doing my own business for computers. They said my back had looked better because I was just sitting in a chair building, you know, computers. I never had to be lifting heavy stuff. I never had to, you know, break my back at a full-time job. I could do it as I wanted to, do what I wanted as I wanted to. I don't know. I'm still going to do my computer work. I'm still going to help people. I'm still going to do what I was doing before. It's just now I'm only going to do it for my friends and disabled veterans. I'm not doing it for everybody. I turned my house into a foundation and I'm helping disabled veterans. I'm going to volunteer at the VA, help disabled veterans. Me and the counselors at the VA have already talked about it. 
It's just what I want to do. I want to help people. But you got to help yourself, I found, before you can help everybody else. I mean, you can't... Uh, you can't help everybody if you're neglecting neglecting yourself. And I never realized how much I really neglected, you know, what I should be doing for myself. Because I always think about everybody else and I never think about myself. I just wanted to let everybody know because I haven't been on YouTube in quite a long time. I haven't been on... And I had court on the 3rd, and they rescheduled me another court date for November 14th at 8.30 in the morning. And then they're going to decide whether to toss my case out. My lawyer's already put in to have my case dismissed due to incompetency from failing the mental evaluations. Which makes me laugh. I've never failed an evaluation in my life. But if they say I'm not competent to stand trial and I'm not mentally stable, okay. Just because I talk about killing people. <laughs> the army trains you to be one way and then... <sighs> they don't like it. When you turn around and talk about it, talk about the things you've done in the past, talk about the things that you're willing to do, and they don't want me to have weapons, which it's too bad. I have my weapons, and they can't take them away from me unless they, you know, get, get me with some kind of felony. Which ain't going to happen. I've never been in trouble. And that's one of the biggest things. I've never been in trouble all these years. So keep trying, but it's not going to happen. All right, late.